How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to copy everything from your old Android phone to your new Android phone step by step. We're going to be using a USB-C cord. However, you could also do this through Wi-Fi. It's just a little bit slower than going through the USB-C cord. This is more secure than giving it to a shop because then they have access to your pin, your information, your pics and everything. If you have access to the phones, doing it yourself is safer, more secure, it's free, and it's really not that hard as you're going to see in this video. It could take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour or something, depending how many files you have and whatnot, but it's not that difficult as you guys will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you already subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss another video and let's get into the data transfer. So I'm going from a Google Pixel 6. We have a Google Pixel 7 that we just scooped off of Amazon. We're gonna be transferring all of the data apps, photos, everything, and our cell phone number SMS data abilities, calling abilities to our new phone. So you're going to need your new phone in the initialization mode, which means if you're on a home screen like this, you're going to have to go to settings, that little gear icon. You're going to have to scroll down to system. Then you're going to scroll down and hit reset, factory reset, erase all data, erase all data. So that will factory reset your phone. But if you just opened it, turned it on, got to this video, you should already be in the factory reset initialization state and that's where you wanna be. This is gonna take a couple of minutes to initialize. So we're gonna let that go and then we're gonna come back. Okay. So this is the screen that you want. Your welcome screen to your Pixel, your Samsung, whatever phone that you're using. It's your initialization screen, and we're going to hit get started. Connect to a mobile network. So this is when you're going to take a pen or a SIM card tool, and you're gonna look for your SIM card tray on your phone. It could be on the top, could be on the side, could be on the bottom. Ours is over here in the bottom left side of this Google Pixel 6. If you guys can see right here, there's a hole in a little slot. You're gonna press the pin down into that hole. It should eject just a little bit enough to get your finger under it and to pull out that SIM card tray. Now that's your chip that has your information for your data plan, your carrier, your cell phone uh, number, all that good stuff. So we're gonna have to get that out either by dropping it, however you gotta get it out. So now we're gonna put that SIM card tray back into the other phone. It only can go in one way. And now we're gonna put this into our new phone. Looking for the SIM card tray, it's in the same spot, easy enough. Eject. The SIM card only can go in one way unless you really, really force it. There's a cut little slit in the tray that you have to match to the card so it lays flat. And then you're going to slide that into the phone. It makes contact with the motherboard and now it can read the information it needs for your cell phone bands and your number and all that good stuff. And my little icon up here for my cell phone bars has changed. Now we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi, type in your password and hit connect. Now it says it's getting your phone ready. It may take up to a few minutes. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so we're back. It took a couple minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. We're going to hit next. Use your old device. Yes, you're going to need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on. Keep it unlocked. If for some reason your device is broken, you can click can't use old device and it's going to restore whatever it has backed up into the Google Cloud. It's not gonna be as much data as what's on your phone, but it's gonna be better than nothing. So you could try that if you have busted or broken or lost other phone, but we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing data transfer from the other phone. So we're gonna hit next. Find your old device's cable. So a lot of times you'll have a USB-C cable in your package, in your box. We have this one right here that we're gonna be using. If you don't want to use the cable, you wanna use a Wi-Fi, you're gonna tap down here, no cable, go to copy without cable, and then it's going to use your Wi-Fi to connect to your devices and go, it's a little bit slower that way. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna hit back and we're gonna get to the cable screen and we're gonna hit next. Insert your cable into your old device. So we're gonna plug it in right there. You do have to unlock your device either with your fingerprint or with your code. And then we're gonna hit next, connect the cable to your new device and it should vibrate, make some noise, do something. If it doesn't, then you can unplug the cable, turn it around, plug it in, jiggle it. Maybe your cable's bad because sometimes this cable doesn't work right and you should be able to get them to connect. Worst comes to worst, try a new cable. But ours worked, we're gonna hit copy fingerprint and now it says copying your accounts so it's sending all of the data that we're going to choose right here it says choose what to copy on our next screen it's going to send all of that data from our old phone to our new phone so this is going to take a minute or so and then i will come back very boring minutes later so that took a couple of minutes and then popped up with choose what to copy it's uh 53 gigabytes it tells you how much all of your apps 
your photos, your music, SMS, MMS, device settings, call history. I wanna make a complete copy, so I'm gonna leave all of those checked, and then we're gonna hit copy, and then it's sending the data from one phone to the other. It said it was gonna take, I don't know, 30 something minutes. We'll see if that is true. It popped up with my email account right here, and then it's asking me if I wanna use the basic location, device backup, install apps, and updates. So we're gonna hit accept. And then if you wanna see the warranty that comes with your phone, and look at that, additional terms of Google trying to take all of our souls and data, you can look at the terms and hit accept. If you wanna set a pin, you can do that. Or if you wanna change it to a pattern or a password, we're gonna skip them and do that later. And then you can continue setup with Google Pay, Google Assistant, all of those things, you hit continue. So this is if you say, hey Google, and it responded on this phone, access your assistant without unlocking your device. So that's allowing Google to be pretty much listening to you the whole time without your device being unlocked. We're gonna skip that also. You can add another email account. So you're gonna let it identify background music around you. No thanks, Ticks, tips and tricks from your inbox. No, no thanks. And there it is copying our data. It says it's about 13 minutes left. So it's going faster than it initially said. So we're gonna let that run and then we're gonna come back. All right, so copying is done. You can now disconnect the cable. Close, done. This phone is getting ready. This may take a few more minutes. So we'll let that run and then we'll come back. Learn gestures to go home, go back, switch apps. We're gonna skip that. All set, your phone is now ready to be used. Swipe up, go home. All right, so it looks very similar to my other phone. The background's different. Um, the apps are grayed out, meaning that they haven't actually downloaded yet. As you can see right here, it says completing setup, installed zero out of 142 apps. So it's gonna be downloading a lot of apps. A lot of the Google apps will save your password. For instance, if I go to YouTube, it's going to have my subscriptions, everything saved from my old account. And your other apps, such as, we'll see, well, when one downloads, I'll show you. But if I go to like Gmail, I got my email already in there. This is the part that takes a long time to actually go through and download all of the apps. So we're going to let that run for a little bit. And then I'll show you guys what's going on with the password situation. But in the meantime, if you go to your pictures and look at your actual pictures, I have pictures that I took on my other phone yesterday. So they're all in order. They're all there, which is very nice. We'll let some apps download and then we'll come back. It's been almost an hour. It has installed some apps. It's still taking a long time. It still says it hasn't installed any apps. It's completing setup, 54 minutes left, but some of my apps have gone to colored. So I'm gonna show you how a Google app, like for instance, YouTube Studio, that remembers my login because it's a Google app. But if I go to something like Etsy, is asking me to log in. So you got to remember your login and you might be able to get away with the password being saved in your Google if your other phone has the password save function on. So we're going to go to settings, it's this gear icon, and then we're just going to type in passwords, password and accounts. And you should be able to uh, toggle this, use autofill with Google, and it should be able to save your passwords. So that way, at least when you get into your other phone, you type in your login, the password's kind of saved within Google. And that way you can get into your apps and your logins without having to reset your passwords if you forgot them or go to your analog notebook in order to find the passwords to all the apps. Because it's a pain. Uh, Venmo, however, Ever didn't remember my password. So it just depends on the app. You're going to have to go through. It does have my call history. It has my chat history. Passwords for the app is kind of the biggest pain that you're going to come across. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any problems with your data transfer from your old Android to your new Android, throw them in the comment section. I know there's paid services for like WhatsApp and whatnot. I don't use WhatsApp, so I don't know for WhatsApp or chat me or whatever apps that other people use. Hopefully it transfers. That's all I could say. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're already subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss another video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.